Hi, uh, my name is Kyle Brandt. I'm the head professional at the Belvedere Golf and Country Club. I'd like to give you a tip on how to read uh, putts on a green. So we've got about a putt of about 10 feet here. Uh, and uh, what I would suggest is that you always want to figure out where the golf ball is going to go into the hole straight um, to figure out your, your line of putt. So on a flat putt, the ball would go in straight on at the hole. If we use this as a clock, from my perspective, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 and 9, a putt that is straight or level would go in at six o'clock. But if we had a putt where we feel, you know, there's a lot of break right to left, um, the ball would not go in at six o'clock. If the putt is breaking hard right to left, I'm gonna say that the ball's gonna go in more at, let's say four o'clock. So I call that the front door. So that's where the ball's gonna go in. So what I need to do is I need to step back and look and figure out, okay, how much do I have to play out to the right to get the ball going in at the front door or at four o'clock. So once I figure that out, I can kind of visualize the line. And then from there, all I would do is just step in. I'd aim at my spot and just try to roll the putt to that spot. Okay, so the key is that you always wanna look at where the ball is gonna go in straight in the hole, or what I call the front door. Once you figure out the front door, that'll help you figure out how much right or left of the hole you gotta play. And then just another little tip is that when a putt is downhill, it goes a lot faster, the ball rolls a lot more, therefore it's gonna break more. So if you have a downhill putt, play a little more break. If you have an uphill putt, those usually are a lot slower. The ball has less of a tendency to roll out so it's gonna break less. Therefore, you can take a little bit less line on uphill putts, take more line on downhill putts. And for any other tips, go see your local PGA of Canada professional. Thank you.